All right, guys, you are getting a two for one video here uh, because Elena did a spotlight on the Prismacolor sharpener, uh, mainly because it has the dual top uh, holes there. Um, traditionally, this sharpener was released for the Verithens, which would go in this smaller hole over here. Um, and the bigger hole is supposed to be for the Prismacolor Premieres. Um, I've used this technique on all my pencils uh, to where I actually use both holes every time I sharpen just one pencil. Um, I know that the Premieres aren't really supposed to get a fine point on them like this one's got. Um, but I also know that a lot of members don't have two sets of pencils or can't afford two sets of pencils. And so this little technique that I'm about to show you uh, will get your Prismacolors a little bit sharper uh, to where you don't feel like you can't use your Prismacolors for a sharp point. Um, I know Alina has said she started using this technique on all of her pencils, including uh, her Polychromos. Uh, the ink tents, the color sauce, uh, any pencil out there that Alina owns, including the Liras, I know that uh, she's had pretty good luck with this technique. But I'm going to show you with the Prismas just because uh, a lot of people have said to me, well, you're not supposed to get the Premier Sharp, um, but I always have. So I typically start in the smaller hole and then move over to the bigger hole. Uh, I know some people will spin the sharpener as opposed to the pencil. Um, for me, I just do little quarter turns of the pencil itself. So I don't go too crazy with it. And um, that's the reason for that is it gives you a more even sharpen and it doesn't put a bunch of pressure on your lead, uh, which is key. When you get too much pressure on there and next thing you know, it breaks. So in the smaller hole, I get it to where it's kind of got this flat point to it. Um, just like I said, little quarter turns, nothing crazy. Pull it out every time to check it, see where it's at. And then I pop it over into this bigger hole. And I just give it one good turn, maybe two. And you've got a nice decent point on your pencil. So... That's how I use my sharpener. Again, uh, for the premieres, it's wonderful that it works like that. You can get that nice sharp point and then you don't have to worry about a set of Verithens. Uh, for the Verithens, they tend to work just fine in that smaller hole. Um, there's not many issues with it. Uh, with other brands, like I said, Alina can testify that it does help on those as well. So if you keep breaking lead, maybe try just the dual tip sharpener. Uh, the other thing is when these blades get dull um, they do start eating your pencils up uh, I think the first one I bought I got maybe nine months out of it before I started noticing my pencils were getting ate up uh, this one I've had for maybe four or five months uh, you can get them on Amazon for about six bucks Jerry's Artorama has them for about seven uh, Blick I think you're gonna be looking at six to seven dollars they are worth it so your pencils don't get ate up um, so yeah there you go if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, shoot me over a message. Uh, and happy coloring.